All right, everybody, should we call JJ? Let's call him JJ. <clears throat> Hiya, kids. Well, hey there, JJ. JJ, what are you doing? Aren't you going to ask me? Uh, I just did. No, no, about the big game. Oh. JJ, I was at your indoor soccer game. Yeah, but you know, uh, good news is meant to be shared. Oh, kids, JJ wants you to know he had a big game yesterday. Big game. And that he scored a couple of goals. I, I scored four. Okay, okay, four goals. One with each foot. All right. And with that, let's move on to the lesson. What? Let's move on. This was important. Oh, JJ, it was nice, and we've noted your achievement. Well, on Sports Center, at least, they interview the star athlete. Seriously? When you're ready. Oh, JJ, this is the church. <coughs> <sighs> All right, JJ. How do you feel about your accomplishment? Well, Michelle, the life of an athlete is hard. It takes practice. Minutes and minutes of practice. But I pride myself on my ability, especially the ability to hand, handle the ball, kick, and kick with power with all four feet. Hmm, I see. There are others who say, why sacrifice? Why lay it on the line? But the true athlete never asks such a question. He simply knows that if he perseveres, the kibble will be there at the end of the day. Hmm. So, you are happy with your achievement? Well, it was quite the game. Mm, does it matter that your team lost? Huh? <laughs> does it bother you that your team lost? We did? <sighs> does it bother you that in the last seconds of the game, when you were driving down the side of the field covered by three players, bent on scoring goal number five, that little Daisy Dachshund, who has never ever scored a goal, was standing uncovered in front of the goal box. Huh. Does it bother you that you did not even try to pass the ball to her? Does it bother you that if you had tried, you might have tied the game? Oh, oh, and does it bother you that while you launched a rather pathetic attempt at goal number five straight into those defenders, time ran out and the hopes of the team were dashed? I sense you have issues with me. <laughs> JJ, you are too concerned with yourself. I'm just trying to do my best. No, 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 no. You're trying to be a star. You are full of yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. I, d I just want everyone to like me and, and think I'm a good player. Oh, JJ, everyone already likes you. <sighs> Thank you. And you are a good player. Okay, so you're terrible at throw-ins. No opposable thumb jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but you're part of a team, JJ. It isn't about you. You know, JJ, in today's Bible story, James and John, two of Jesus' disciples, wanted to be stars. Well, what do you mean? Well, they wanted to sit at the right and the left of Jesus, above the oh. other disciples and above everyone else. Wow, what did, what did Jesus say? Well, Jesus said, if you want to be great, you need to serve and serve all. You, you mean like, like I should have served Daisy that ball and given her that goal? That's right. Jesus wants us to take care of each other first. And on Team Jesus, everyone is important. I didn't mean to sound like I only care about me. But JJ, you didn't even know your team lost. Tell me something. Do you know what it means to be humble? What do you mean, humble? Well, seeing that you are not the most important person in the world. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. JJ, being humble means recognizing that God and other people have things they need that are important. That we need to think of God and others first, not just ourselves. Th does being humble help you? Get closer to God? Well, sure it can, because to get close to God, we need to realize that God is God, and we're to do as God says. Th does it help in other ways? Sure, because you put others first. You look for Daisy standing in front of the goal and get her the ball. You look at how your friends and family are feeling, and you take care of them. So God likes it when we're humble. Mm, very much, JJ. It's hard to be a good person, friend, or a follower of Jesus without being humble. 
kids, Michelle, I'm gonna try. Oh, that's all we can ask. You will see. I will be the most humble dog around. Oh, that's good. Others will bask in the font of my humbleness. Others will look to me as a person to learn humility from. I shall be known far and wide as the very most humble. Okay, JJ. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> Say goodbye, JJ. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day now. Bye, bye kids. Bye.